Greetings everyone, this is Adoration with Mac, and I'm your host, Louis McElwain. Well guys, tonight we have a really special treat. Every year, I spotlight one church, and that church is Colonial Baptist Church in Randallstown, Maryland. Now the reason that I spotlight them is because they do an annual missions conference that I believe I've been a part of for at least 12 of the 24 years that they've been doing this thing. And I've got to tell you, it's exciting. And I'm so honored to not only be a part of the mission conference as a missionary, but also to promote their efforts because they're doing incredible things for the gospel of Jesus Christ. So you're about to hear some excerpts that we took from an interview that happened a few days ago. On this interview, you're going to hear from the Great Commission Ministry, and that is headed by our first guest. His name is Reverend Cecil Cunnigan, and then along with him are their public relations specialist, Tanya Yancey. And bringing up the rear is their youth leader, and his name is Brother Vincent McKinney. Listen, enjoy, partake if you're able to, and just know that incredible things are being done through Colonial Baptist Church, and we want to encourage them and support them in any way possible. God bless. And welcome to Adoration. You understand that this evening, we have the awesome, awesome, awesome opportunity to once again invite our friends over at Colonial Baptist Church in Randallstown, Maryland, to be a part of our program as they do every year. They have what they call the Great Commission Conference. And, you know, it is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful opportunity for missionaries worldwide to be able to come together, to be able to share what it's like to actually be on the mission field, to actually be able to share experiences and encourage those that have, may have never gone outside of their neighborhoods or, or their states to entertain, even if it's for a short-term mission experience, to get out there and to fulfill the gospel in Acts chapter one, verse eight. It is always a privilege and an honor to be able to welcome the team that makes up the GCM, as they call themselves, to be able to share their conference, which takes place the second week of March every year. And this year, pray tell, we are in that 24th year of them doing this. Without further ado, let me introduce Reverend Cecil Cunnigan, who is the official chair for the GCM. Let me also introduce Sister Tanya Yancey, and wow, Sister Tanya handles everything from public relations to promotions and marketing. And then we have a new face, a new face for this content, but definitely not a new face for Colonial in Brother Vince McKinney. This man is on fire for the Lord. I cannot wait until everyone gets an opportunity to share. So for Cecil, for Tanya, and for Vince, welcome. Welcome this evening. How are you? Thank you, Brother Mac, for, for having us. Uh, I'm doing just well. I'm excited. I'm excited about what God is going to do um, this this missions conference. Um, he's going to he's going to uh, move in a way 
even beyond our expectations and our plans. So I'm just excited to be a vessel to be used by God. You know, here's the thing. In order for us to really show our audiences what the GCM, what Colonial Baptist is all about, we've got to be excited about this thing. So just for a moment, you know what? We want to encourage everybody who is watching us right now to lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors because the king of glory yeah, yeah. will and shall come in. And who is that king of glory? The Jesus Lord the strong Lord. and mighty. The Amen. Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Amen. Who Hallelujah. is this yes. king of glory? Yes, the Jesus. Lord. Yes. He is the king of glory. Yes. See, I'm yes. already getting started yes. to see what the audience <laughs> doesn't understand that before we hit the record, these people on this line right now or on your screens, they have already given me an assignment. So I'm just letting them know <laughs> that I'm ready. Y'all right. understand I'm ready. We ready. And we're ready too. <laughs> we're ready too. We're ready too. Right. This program is all about. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, thanks uh, uh, again, Brother Mac, uh, for this awesome, awesome, awesome opportunity. Yes to be with you uh, again, as you've uh, done for the last several uh, years. Uh, you, you've always made an, um, a time and given us an opportunity to come and to share. So we, we, uh, we really do appreciate the, the opportunity. We uh, are, are just in love with the, with the idea of the relationship that we've been able to build over the years with you and uh, your lovely wife, uh, Sister Myra. So um, we are just grateful uh, that you continue to allow us the, this, this platform. You know, uh, one of the things that you, you you talked about, Brother Mac, uh, in your intro was was uh, you mentioned Acts one one eight, and uh, this year um, our twenty fourth uh, annual missions conference uh, comes with the uh, with the theme Jesus all over the world, and mm. Jesus all over the world is 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 uh, is really captured around that that whole Acts one eight, uh, where Jesus you know dis disperses uh, uh, believers to. Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, all over the world. Um, and our theme uh, this year, Jesus all over the world, comes from Luke 4, 18. And it reads like this. I'd just like to read this, if you don't mind, uh, from, from Luke 4, 18. And, and it reads like this. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free the oppressed. Both times the word me, uh, the three times the word me are, are mentioned in that scripture, it's with the capital M. I, I, I like to think that capital M gives emphasis to Vince, to Tanya, to Mag, to me as well. We all as believers have a responsibility to go out and to be ambassadors for the kingdom. Um, and, and so we, again, that's, that's why we are so uh, excited, you know, about the idea of being involved with, uh, with, with missions. And Brother Mac, as you mentioned, the, the GCM, the, the Great Commission Ministry, we, we are. Uh, we're excited about how God is allowing us to be used uh, in so many different ways. Uh, you, 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 we, I know we're here primarily to talk a little bit about the missions conference, but I'd just like to, to tell folks that you know, the, 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 the missions ministry at Colonial is involved with uh, more than just the, the missions conference. We have a short-term admissions team that, that you mentioned earlier um, that is, is preparing even now, uh, right now, uh, as, we, as we speak to, to be in, uh, in Guatemala with you all in June. Uh, but they, they're doing other things as well. We, we have the uh, a Women's uh, Missionary Union uh, who are prepared this coming uh, uh, weekend, the next weekend, actually. Uh, the following weekend, I think it's the 25th, where they'll be doing a, um, um, a prayer breakfast and they'll be praying for missionaries like you and Myra uh, and others that are, um, um, are on mission, you know, to the uttermost parts of the world. So there's a lot of other things that are going on and we could go on and on, but I, I did just want to make sure I mentioned those things uh, as, we, uh, as we proceed. This year, a uh, 24th missions conference, our brother Mac, as you mentioned, uh, we'll be at Colonial um, the, the 10th, 11th, and 12th. Um, 
Each one of those days are going to be some uh, 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 different and exciting activities on that Friday. Uh, we'll be uh, kind of bringing back uh, the unashamed praise, a version of the unashamed praise that we did for several years uh, uh, that our youth and young adults were sponsoring uh, that, that highlighted um, some youth and, and young adult um, uh, worshipers, worship services. Uh, and uh, Brother Vince is going to talk a lot more about that in just, a, in just a minute. On that Saturday, we'll do our traditional workshops. Um, this year, we will have um, uh, Sister Stella Gambro and uh, uh, almost a resident uh, um, um, children's ministry with uh, Denise Morgan, who is with the uh, Children's Bible Ministry. She'll be there uh, assisting in, uh, in that Saturday um, 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 a children's uh, a workshops on Saturday. And uh, we're gonna start the conference that, that day uh, with uh, a young man out of our, um, our state convention, Nathan Walters, who is a uh, collegiate minister uh, representing our state convention. He's uh, also um, the collegiate minister at uh, University of Delaware. So he's gonna start us off with a, a short sermon. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing from Nathan. And, and he'll, he'll roll right into doing a workshop for us, you know, as well. Uh, and, and he'll be followed by our workshop leaders, um, uh, like uh, 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 Dr. Curtis Barber uh, with Shining Star Baptist Church. And, and Brother Mac, I think you're very familiar with him. Uh, he's done yes, a lot of work yes. in, in going to Ghana and, and some other places. Uh, and, and so we're, we're looking forward to, uh, to hearing from, uh, from Pastor Barber. Uh, and then we'll also have, uh, another workshop that'll be done by Jason Thomas. Jason Thomas, you may remember, is uh, uh, the, the strategic, African-American strategic uh, uh, missions coordinator with the International Mission Board, you know, out of, uh, out of Richmond, Virginia. So Jason is very familiar with Colonial as well. And he'll bring a, a great message uh, through, through, that, um, through the workshop that he'll be doing. And he'll be with us throughout the, throughout the remainder of the conference as well. And then, uh, of course, we roll into Sunday. Uh, and Jason Thomas is going to be busy, <laughs> you know. Again, this year, Jason is going to bring the, uh, the the bring the word to us on on uh, on Sunday, uh, and so we're looking forward to hearing uh, a great word uh, from the Lord from uh, from Jason on on Sunday as well. So uh, we have a lot that's going to be going on uh, on uh, on on all of those three days. We invite you know everyone within the sound of our voice, uh, everyone within the. The, the, that, that metro area and, and beyond to come out and, and spend some time with us on, uh, on, my, on that Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And we're looking forward to, again, just a great time, you know, in the local. We do want our, our listeners to know that the conference is March the 10th, 11th and the 12th this year. Um, and that, um, you know, March the 10th is, is, even though it's, you know, youth oriented, everybody is invited to attend. The conference is going to be um, a hybrid type conference. If you can't make, can't join us in person on those days, um, we will definitely have um, virtual possibilities available for those who aren't able to come out and visit. So we want you to come. But if you can't, we definitely want you to um, be able to participate in the conference um, via Zoom uh, via Zoom link. And and just as Brother Cecil mentioned, um, we always uh, we start planning for the conference uh, as soon as this conference is over. We debrief and then we try to start planning for next year's conference so that we can make sure that we're giving everyone that wonderful opportunity to come out and meet missionaries. You and Sister Myra, um, uh, Adam Nathanson and his family, um, Reverend Jason. Um, we also wanted to, um, you know, just let everybody know that. Not only do we talk about the conference, um, we take painstaking efforts to make sure everything is posted to the church website at colonialbaptistch.org. Um, we encourage our, our, our congregants to, and brothers and sisters to go out and, you know, talk about the conference. It's not just something for you to come and do on March 10th, 11th, and 12th, but it's an opportunity for you to come and learn about missions, learn about what our missionaries are doing on the missions field, how they're, you know, spreading the word of the Lord. And, you know, we want to make sure that everybody gets that. Um, the other thing that we wanted to talk about is that missions conference is for kids. Kids can be missionaries too. So I think that's one of the wonderful things that we, we do at Colonial. We talk to the kids about 
you know, being a missionary and encouraging them and teaching them God's word. So uh, that is those activities for children will happen on um, that that Saturday at, at 1030. Uh, we have um, Denise Morgan, um, uh, who will be working with Sister Estella. She will also be um, facilitating um, Sunday school activities. So we want to make sure that our children are included. Um, so missions conferences for everyone. So as you can see, Colonial is dedicated to the heart and mind of missions. So again, if you're not able to visit the conference in person, please join us virtually. All of the details about the conference are available on our church website. If you plan to attend in person, we do ask that you would register for the conference so that we can, um, you know, plan appropriately because we um, are planning to feed you lunch on that Saturday and we want to make sure that um, everyone is accounted for. So um, with that being said, Brother Cecil, Brother Vince, I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, Again, feel free to reach out to um, you know any one of us, and and also visit the visit the website. It will tell you everything that you need to know um, about what's happening in and around Colonial. So, thank you as always, Sister Tanya. You know what? Every year, you say more and more, and you become more animated. I, I'm telling you, by the time we get to the 25th year. I'm just going to turn my microphone over to you. You run this thing, and I'm going to sit back in the cut and just watch you do what you do. <laughs> well, I, just, I just praise the Lord. Just, just praise just God. Saying, man. Uh, this is a, a man that uh, I didn't know was going to be on the screen tonight. I didn't know that he would be part of this, but earlier this afternoon, I got a notification from Cecil, and Cecil said, it is time that we once again part the Red Sea because <laughs> there's someone who needs to get through before <laughs> Pharaoh comes. Vince, man, first of all, welcome to this platform. And you know what, brother? Because I've been running my mouth most of this session. Go ahead and say whatever you need to say. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, well, well thank you, uh, Brother Mac, for that warm introduction. Thank you. I'm glad to be a part of Adoration Talk Radio. Uh, before I get into what's happening, uh, more details in terms of Friday night, I want to share my story about how the missions conference has impacted my life in two ways. Number one, um, I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior at the age of eight. But I always grew up thinking that missions was someone else was for someone else to do, um, and, and, and as a, a result of joining Colonial 18 years ago and being part of 18 years of, of missions conference, um, one of the things that came out of that was that God moved in my heart and inspired me to go on short-term missions to St. Kitts for two years. The other thing that came out of that, I was introduced to an organization through the missions conference, an organization by the name of Child Evangelism Fellowship. I never heard of them before. Even though they've been around for 80, 83 plus years now, but it was at a conference 12 years ago that I, that I learned about CEF and, and, and a concept called the Good News Club, where they're able to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to schools, public schools, in the after school way and, and, and talk about Jesus. I was blown away from that moment. And ever since I got involved in uh, uh, CEF uh, 12 years ago, we started out with one school. We've now adopted eight schools over the 12 years. Most cool. churches only adopt one or two schools, but it, it was, I have to give credit to the missions conference because if it wasn't for the missions conference, I would have ne never heard of CEF. And if I never heard of CEF, we wouldn't have had a good news club. We wouldn't have adopted eight schools. We wouldn't have had over 75 children that have come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ over those 12 years because cool. of the missions conference. So that's my story about how the missions conference have really impacted my life and my life and my life work in terms of um, the Good News Club and Child Evangelism Fellowship. Friday is an event we're calling March Madness Free Folk uh, Competition, but it's so much more than basketball. It's a multi-ministry event, which will be, a, it's, it's being sponsored by, G, you know, GCM, 
um, as well as the youth ministry, as well as the music ministry, where we're coming together and partnering up um, to offer this, uh, what we call not only a, a multi-ministry, but a multi-event. So what, what we're doing is trying to light the fire on, on our youth, trying to get them, to, trying to introduce, to introduce them to the great things of what mission has to offer. So we're using a free throw competition really to get them into the house. But once they get there, there's going to be a lot of things going on. There's going to be unashamed praise. There's going to be music going on. Obviously, there's going to be a free throw shooting contest, but we're also going to have um, 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 missions moments where we're going to have a some youth, you know, you know, two to three youth where they actually be giving their, their testimony or their experience of what it was like to be on the missions field. And also it's going to be set up as a panel so so the youth can ask questions. Because a lot of times youth don't get involved because of a mis, their mis, misinformation, um, a, a lack of seeing young folks like themselves. Um, a lot of them probably look at missions the way I did it. It's for old folks. It's not for young folks. But really it is for, it's, it's for young folks. So when, when the youth come for this three-point, uh, I mean, this free throw competition, obviously they're going to bring their parents to support them, to watch them in the free throw shooting contest. But they also may have little brothers, little brothers and little sisters. So also what's going on at that same time, we're going to have a, an arts and craft room for the little children as well on the side. And we're also going to have food as well, but we're going to have missions tables uh, surrounding the area so that the, the youth be able to walk as they walk through waiting for their particular time to shoot free throws. They'll have tables, there'll be displays and so on and so forth. So we're going to hit them with so much more than just basketball. But the purpose of it is, is so that um, we're going to try to uh, 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 promote them coming back on Saturday and Sunday. But even if they're not able to come back on Saturday and Sunday, we're going to give them a, enough information um, for them to be on fire um, for missions. So my involvement with um, the missions conference is, you know, just to get the word out, you know, about the conference. And again, just to encourage people to, to come out. And once you come out and you experience the conference, you know, there's no turning back you want to move forward. So my experience with the conference, you know, started back, um, my aunt was actually a member of the missions conference um, and she passed away. And um, my, well, there, I had two aunts and my other aunt said, well, you know what, you should really, you know, come be a part of the missions conference. And again, I never looked back. So um, being a part of the, you know, PR, you know, part of the PR um, has has been a tremendous experience for me because, um, you know, just being able to, to get the word out, participating in the CNN announcements and just kind of overlook. We, we've done a, a, a variety of things. We've done radio. Um, we've, you know, tried to, um, you know, just uh, I think one year um, our pastor did um, a television um uh, interview. Um, so it's just been it's just been an incredible experience. And every year, looking at the conference, looking at the you know the different themes and putting it out there, it it draws you you know closer to the Lord. And I've met some incredible incredible people, and um, it's it's just been it's just been an honor for me to to be a part of of this ministry and. I have I've learned a lot um, through the missions conference. You know, every year we meet different you know missionaries that have come through, and it's just been an incredible an incredible experience. And you know, this year learning about you know the different um, the different African American missionaries because you know I grew up thinking the same thing. That's not for me. I'll, you know, um, and then I actually met a friend from my, my first church and she uh, was a missionary in Brazil. And um, I was I was floored like, wow, this this is this is amazing. And I see what God can do. And so I'm just I'm just so incredibly honored to you know be a part of the missions team and just to continue on. Wherever God has me, I'm I'm just very grateful. Um, what what Colonial and GCM has meant to me 
has been a growth in my faith. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I accepted Christ at the age of eight, and I, I grew up in a strong uh, uh, Christian education church. I grew up, you know, going to VBS and missions and, and um, uh, Christian retreats and those types of things. But as a result of being a colonial uh, for 18 years, my, my faith has grown exponentially. Um, um, and, 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 and going on a missions trip maybe six, seven, eight years ago, um, to 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 witness the witness God's power, uh, to witness, you know, true faith. I always say that, you know, when we do go go on international um, missions, we go to bless others, but but a lot of times we're blessed by them. Yeah. What I mean by blessed by them is that you know you truly not only do you realize the 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 the, the comforts that we have here in America, but but what I found is that. A lot of times their faith is a lot stronger than our faith because, oh. you know, our faith is built a lot of times on success or on material things. But you see, but they, they purely love God. Just they love Jesus just because they love Jesus. And the relationship is not yeah. based on whether they have a big house or a big car, those types of things. And another thing that I experienced with going to mission is that, that, that the young, the youth, they, they're a lot more serious. They're a lot more engaged and and involved in doing God's work than, than the youth here in the United States a lot of times. And so one of the things, the reason why I encourage youth to go is so that not just so they appreciate mom and dad, appreciate the, the, the creature comforts that they have here in America, is that they're able to, 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 to see faith in action and they're able to see, wow, um, there, there's, there's folks that are my age, that, that look like me, uh, they have a whole lot less they don't have a problem with saying hallelujah. They don't have a problem with raising their hand. They don't have a problem with sharing the gospel. They don't have a problem with um, uh, doing street ministry, street evangelism. And so that really, you know, um, is one of the things that uh, that I try to to share and why I'm excited about what's going to happen on March the 10th, 11th and 12th is that because I believe that as we introduce um, the, the things of what missions is about, um, and I'm, I'm confident God is going to move in that in that, in, in that weekend and move some young folks in it to, to getting involved in missions. To our yeah. adoration folks, we love you. We praise God for you. Be encouraged, be inspired, and be hopeful because God is not finished with you yet. If yeah. you are alive, and here today, it is his confirmation that the story is not over. Embrace him and his love for you through Jesus Christ and go off into the world where yeah. Jesus is and be with him as he's all over the world. So are we. God bless you and good night. Good night. Good night. Jesus